everyone, I'm Allie Buckman with the Potomac Bead Company, and today I'm doing a little product spotlight for you on the Esso Bead. So the Esso Bead is a bead out of the Czech Republic, and it's actually newly available in two sizes. One of the videos that I did here just to show you kind of the Esso Bead in use is the Evil Eye Bracelet. So if you want to check out this video, uh, we have it here on YouTube, you can go to right underneath our little opening page and click the magnifying glass type ESO, ES-O, into there, and this evil eye bracelet will pop up for you since it's something that I've done with the actual ESO beads. I brought this out as an example to show you what the ESOs look like when doing peyote stitch. So there's a bunch of different two-hold beads, and I get the questions a lot. What can you interchange? What can you use? What size are they? So this is why I've been doing some product spotlights to show you guys actually what the beads are, what size they are, what they're comparable to, and... Um, what the uses are for them, basically, what the advantages are of them and what the disadvantages are, more like a product review. For the Esso bead itself, it is manufactured in the Czech Republic, and the original Esso here is five millimeters. The mini Essos, which we have kind of here towards the end, are four millimeters when you're looking at them. So it's a five millimeter versus a four millimeter. The Essos are a two-hold bead, there are two hold pressed bead that have kind of a little bump in the middle and then the two holes on either side. They almost remind me of a two hold lentil, which is going to be six millimeters, a little bit bigger. So you've got your mini SO, which is four, and then your regular SO, which is five, and then the two hold lentil, which is six millimeter. The difference between the shapes of the lentils versus the SO is that it has that raised middle. The raised middle makes it more like a super duo than anything else. If you're familiar with the super duos and the actual real super duos rather than some of the other um, knockoffs coming out of different countries, the super duos that are made in the Czech Republic here are a little pinched in the middle. That's exactly how the Essos are too. They have that pinching in the middle, which is going to be a raised factor in the middle. If you look at them, I always think they kind of look like an owl's face when you look at them on the side. That almost has that protruding nose. The mini SOs are brand new. So we literally just got them in this week. Um, they're not even available yet on the website. By the time you watch this video, I'm sure they will be. Um, but the mini SOs are four millimeter. I haven't done anything with it, but seeing this peyote stitch here, just working with the SO beads, and then in the center is one of our round duos. You can see the way that they look on the side of the project. They have almost a wider profile than a super duo would. So the super duo is here in the yellow, and then the SO here, if I pick it up and turn it on its side, you can see at its thickest point, it's thicker than a super duo. You're gonna be able to see that thickness and almost a diamond shape as you're working with the SO bead. So you can see on the sides here, it almost looks like it's an actual diamond shape versus the mini duo or the super duo, which is more of like a marquee or elongated shape. So the cool thing with the SO, it does look and have that kind of diamond effect when it's sewn on the side and using it in peyote stitch or ladder stitch or even doing it if you wanted to do it on a loom with some beads in between. The mini SO is going to kind of change the game a little bit that you can do these smaller patterns and get more detailed using a smaller bead. So the trend seems to be in the seed beading world and kind of in the bead manufacturing that everybody's coming out with these beads and then they're coming out with mini or smaller versions. So much like the mini duo came out of the super duo, the mini SO is coming out. Mini Infinity just came out a smaller bead as well. And there's other uh, ones coming out of Mini Trinity, that sort of thing. So they're trying to realize that in order to get the detail that you want and to achieve the detail that you're looking for, you like the bead and you like the size, but the manufacturers are deciding to make it smaller. And that way it'll be more accessible and have more uses. So there's the regular SO and then there's the Mini SO. When you're shopping and if you want to shop online with us, you're going to look at the SO, which is going to be five millimeters versus the mini SO or the SO mini, which is gonna be four millimeters. So always keep track when you're looking at your pattern, what size you want. A lot of people will purchase super duos and say, oh, they didn't quite fit, you're looking for a mini duo. So always kind of keep an eye on the pattern, what it calls for, and I like to do these videos to make you aware that there are actually two different sizes of the same bead of the same shape. A lot of patterns 
that call for the Super Duo or the Mini Duo, you'll be able to use the SO with. This Evil Eye bracelet, you could actually use a Super Duo with it and get almost the same effect, excuse me, but you're not going to get exactly kind of that diamond shape that the SO provides. So there's a lot of different uses for them. You can use them straight up and down. You can use them, uh, the two holes, and kind of separate them out. Do them in a peyote stitch right next to one another, and you get a nice effect as well. So again, the SO beads are five millimeter. The mini SOs are four millimeter. And then the bead that I think they're most comparable to are gonna be that two hole lentil. So a fun thing to do is to take some of your patterns that call for different beads and scale them down and use different shapes, almost similar, but you're gonna get a completely different look to the pattern. So it's kind of a challenge if you're watching this video, you wanna try some things out. Go ahead and challenge yourself to take a pattern that calls for a super duo and use an SO and see what effect you get. And it will really kind of change the whole design and the whole look. And it actually creates a designer out of you that you're designing and kind of changing it up. And I'd love to see people take videos and completely change them up and have them be a springboard rather than the exact same pattern and the exact same color. Which is flattering, definitely. Uh, but I'd love to be able to kind of kickstart people and get them in a direction of being creative and creating their own designs. If you do need any of the materials um, to kind of play around with the SOs or the mini SOs, you can go below the video here to the little description box. The description box always says what the video is about. And then you can click the down arrow button to the show more button, which will give you links to the products as well. If you want to get the SO or the mini SO, which is brand new and kind of hot off the, hot off the machines, check them out, get them and show us what you've been doing with them. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel to get regular updates on different products, pattern ideas, as well as updates as far as what's going on in the beading world and what's going on in the Potomac Bead Company world as well. You can also stay connected with us on Facebook and join our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. There, show us what you're doing with the mini SOs. Show us the different designs that you create. You can also interact with a host of amazing people designing jewelry that really have a love for it in all different mediums from wire to seed beads to basic stringing and really going above and beyond. As always, everyone, thanks so much for watching and have fun if you get a chance to get your hands on some of the SO beads and the mini SOs, which are brand new.